Veggie Bros. It's me, Amadio. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Veggie Rose. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any more delicious food because I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And you don't want to miss out because who would want to miss out on good food, right? I know I don't like to. So quick thing before we get started, if you make this recipe or any one of my recipes, feel free to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see what you created with the, with the recipes that I share with you. Anyways, today we're going to be making some waffle s'mores. Yes, I said waffle and s'mores in the same sentence. Mind blown. I know. Let's get ready. So we're going to go ahead and get started on with our waffle batter. So for our waffles, we're going to be using two cups of flour. I'm just using all-purpose flour. You're also going to need uh, one quick correction, two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm using here half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. By the way, the full recipe link will be down below. So I'm going to go ahead and just mixing up the dry ingredients. And once everything is mixed up together, we're going to go ahead and add four tablespoons of, uh, of vegetable oil. And this is going to make your, uh, your uh, waffles nice and crispy. You can do less, they just won't be as crispy. And I'm also going to be adding two cups of unsweetened almond milk. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour some of that into our waffle iron. So I'm just covering like the whole bottom of the waffle iron with our um, batter. And you just want to cook these the way you would cook any old waffles that you would normally cook. And I just have to tell you, the smoke that you're seeing here smells like Christmas. Like the little bit of cinnamon that you add in there smells like Christmas. My voice is still messed up, you guys, so yeah. If you guys follow me on like Instagram, then you would know that I just suddenly woke up one day with like my voice just completely gone. It smells so good. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, it's coming along. It's coming and laying along. <laughs> Actually, another thing I wanted to mention is this batter is like pretty runny. Like this is not your average, like you know how some some waffle recipes are a little more, uh, are a little thicker. But this one is pretty runny, but it still like cooks up really good. And I made these like specifically for these waffle s'mores because I wanted them to just be perfect with our marshmallows and our chocolate that's coming up next. Alright, so now it's time to assemble these guys. So this recipe will give you approximately four waffles depending on how, you know, what size your waffle maker is. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some dandies which is, or which are, which are uh, vegan marshmallows. I want a marshmallow, of course. Here, give one to JJ too. And I'm going to be taking my marshmallow and roasting this thing over the heat like you would at a campfire, right? You could always put it in the microwave, but I don't know, something about putting it over the fire that just feels nice. I love camping, so this reminds me of camping. And look how pretty it's getting. It's so brown and, and beautiful. Marshmallows roasting on an open butane fire chestnuts cracking with my voice <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the holidays but I can because I don't like the cold alright so I think that our marshmallow is just about done it looks melty and delicious just whatever you do don't put this in your mouth Turn off that fire. Next, I'm just going to put this on, let's see, I'm going to put this on, all right, so I've done two deliciously smushy and roasted marshmallows here, and I'm trying not to touch them because I don't want to burn my hand off. So I just smush them a little just to get that yumminess out of them. Next, I'm going to sprinkle just a little tiny bit of brown sugar into our waffle. 
And after that, I'm going to be adding this Hershey's. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. I just think it's awesome that they made a uh, Simply Five ingredient one. And they ha it has like organic cane sugar and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this chocolate into the holes of this waffle. And then I'm going to go ahead and smush this right on top of this guy and it's going to be leaking all over the place and it's going to be awesome. You can make a couple of these and stack them on together. That's what I'm going to do. Who's ready for the first bite? So I only added a little bit of brown sugar to one of these since I was stacking them all together. I didn't want to overwhelm the whole thing. So this is what it looks like right here. Hey guys, it's time for the taste test cam. Okay, today we will have this two layered marshmallow with a little waffle with chocolate in, in the middle. It's a waffle s'more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we put it in my mouth. It's a lot. <laughs> really good. The marshmallow cream, the melt just the right way. Chocolate is nice and creamy, rich and really good. And that waffle, that brown sugar just made it taste like a real graham cracker. This is the best vegan s'more waffle whatever ever. <laughs> waffle mouth is my best. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. Also, don't forget to share this video so other people can see how awesome vegan food can be. And click on one of these videos to continue watching if you like. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.